Hey everyone, Derealist here, and today is my first time doing a video like this. Today's video is very special because I finally did a Q&A video. I've tried doing one of these for quite a few months now, but I never seemed to get any questions on them, and it was like nobody cared. But now that I'm able to grow a relatively big community of people, I was finally able to do one, thanks to you guys. I've always wanted to do one of these. It just seems so fun. And now we are going to finally do one after like a few months of thinking about doing one. So without further ado, let's get into this. I don't want to make this video too long. It's already going to be like 20 minutes maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not even going to bother to edit the time here because... Yeah, it's kind of gonna be- it's kind of easy to do a video like this, but not really that easy, so, eh, we'll just see how it goes, so, let's get into the first question. The first question was from End of the Road Haunts. <laughs> Holy crap, dude, I know most of this is a joke, but there are some that obviously aren't really jokes, so I guess I'll answer <laughs> those. <laughs> what is your full address? <laughs> what is your full legal name? Who is in your entire family tree? What is your credit card number? What is your social security number? Why are you so sussy? And I'm going to hold that question for later because everyone who has commented so far has asked me that and I have something special in mind for all of you. What are your greatest fears? This is actually a pretty unique question, and I've never really heard something like this on a Q&A video. I don't know. I don't even think I watch that many. But, as stupid as this sounds, I'm not trying to make it sound scary. or <laughs> Because it kind of isn't. It's really a natural thing. Death. Okay. So, I don't know. The thing that... I don't really know how to explain it. Death literally comes when you least expect it. And it's just so scary. Like, personally, I don't really think I'm afraid of myself dying. But it's scary to me. Because, like, it literally comes when you least expect it. Okay. And I get, like, it's a natural process. Everyone, everyone lives and dies. But it's just so creepy to me. Like, you could wake up one day and, you know, I don't even really want to continue with the subject because it could be kind of sensitive to some people, but it's one of my fears. Please don't check the door in the basement. I'm not gonna lie. I would add a clip of me walking down to the basement and just opening the door, but all that's in there is the pantry, like, with food and some random items. I would do that, but it's not really worth doing that. And how do I know you're human? Dude. I don't even think I can answer that. <laughs> I am a human. You've got to trust me, dude. I have heard in a lot of comments that my voice is very monotone. And maybe you meant like I sound like I'm not even a human or something. See, I'm speaking like that right now. It's, I don't know, it's how I naturally speak, I guess. The next comment is from SJL Haunts, who... Sadly lost his YouTube channel. We were in a race to 1,000 subscribers. I'm not really sure why it happened, like how he lost his channel, but I'm really sorry about that, and I'm really hoping he gets his channel back soon. But, how many animatronics do you have? Now, I did mention in the one anniversary video, the first anniversary video that'll come out soon as when... I or at the time of recording this, that I will be making an animatronic collection video. I can't talk. 
But in total, I have 10 animatronics. Two, what's your favorite animatronic I own? And that's a really hard one. But I think I'm just going to have to go and say Henry Hustle. He is one of the most unique animatronics I've ever seen. And he's just been my favorite ever since he came out. I That sounds like I'm being a squeaker. Someone who enjoys modern spirit. But modern spirit is just as good as old spirit. Like... Things don't need gore to be good. While gore is very good on some props, I think Modern Spirit is almost the same. It could be a little scarier though. Three, do you own any rare slash old animatronics? If so, which one? I think my rarest animatronic might be Flying Vulture from 2018. I have the 2019 model, no one really bought that thing, okay? Like, I don't really think a lot of people remember this prop. It is broken, sadly. It kind of just stopped working over time. Like, first, after a few months of it being put away for the year, its speaker blew, even though it wasn't even being used. And then the wires just started breaking out of nowhere. Which, the wires, I probably can repair them. But even if I do, it'll still never, like, work fully again, because, like, you know, the speaker. I do know his eyes still work, but I would have to solder the wires back on somehow. But that's really all. I think he might be considered my rare cinematronic. And number four, of course, why are you so sussy? You know what? Why are you so sussy? I'm about to give you something, I'm gonna say something crazy in a little bit, just you wait and see, all of you. Number three from End of the Road Hunt again, and this one I was dying to because it's so funny. If you were forced to make an edgy edit of an animatronic, which animatronic would it be? And honestly, this is going to sound really stupid. <laughs> but, Harbinger of Hell, or Hellspawn, I feel like would be the best options. Like, it would be so funny <laughs> to do that for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> but this this is just so funny to me. I don't know why. Carpenter <laughs> of Hell or Hell Spawn. <laughs> that's that's my answer. <laughs> Alright. The <laughs> next one. From end of the... <laughs> I can't get over this. The next one from End of the Road haunts. If you had the opportunity to design a single animatronic, which one would it be? I'm gonna be real. I don't know what you mean by this question, but I will be answering this in two ways. So if you mean like a prototype animatronic, that was never released. I would say Resurrected Evil. But if you meant by like a whole new animatronic idea. I've had one for a while now. Called Mr. Munch. Or Mr. Munchy. I'm not sure. Whichever one you like better. But basically it's some guy who loved being a clown. Doing like stuff at the circus. Entertaining children. But... He had to work his main job as a fry cook. He did, like, entertainment as, like, his side job, and he really wanted it to be his main job. But the problem is he was growing up in a poor family, and he was struggling to make money, and his boss barely even paid him. So after he had enough, he decided he would change up the menu and start to sell human burgers and now he's like a clown fry cook type thing um when activated his head would turn side to side and his arms would move up and down to eat a burger filled with human meat 
and he would basically be this really like big chunky clown kind of like buzzsaw it's a random idea it would be hard to use in a display but i feel like it would be really cool if that idea came to life all right the next question and the last question for now is from bobby k why are you so oh my god i am tired of this already okay just you wait okay all four of you guys have said why are you so sussy 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 yeah i'm going to give an answer to that in just a moment but the real question here is favorite pro animatronic and i'm not gonna lie i don't think i really have an answer a full answer but i will say one of them are alien parasite from distortions unlimited that thing is really cool i do like the cartoonish look to it like it's not the scariest thing ever but it just looks really cool audio is really good and it's just in general something so cool all right it's been two days since i've answered the last batch of questions and there's a few more questions to answer so i am going to answer those right now for you guys now this next question is from spirit news which shout out to spirit news honestly they've been supporting my channel for a while now and they make some awesome videos as well. I love the idea of Spirit Halloween news broadcasts. And you could, you should definitely go check out his channel. Really awesome videos. But who inspired you to start doing Spirit YouTube videos? And not gonna lie, this is an interesting question. Because I don't really have a specific person who inspired me to do spirit videos. I did enjoy watching a lot of YouTubers like Hauntformer, Brick Thunder, and many others you can name off the bat, but I don't really think any of them inspired me to really make videos because when I started YouTube, I originally thought, hey, why not just do Roblox videos? But like, as time went on, I was like, hmm, I, Spirit Halloween is like the main thing I like right now, and I feel like I should just do that. So, I can't really give you a straight answer to this question, but there are a lot of great YouTubers out there, so I guess my interest was my inspiration, if that makes sense at all. Now here we have a bunch of questions so this first one is from crazy haunts and he asks what is my favorite prop from 2019 and i think this is a no-brainer waving wally absolutely incredible horribly underrated i do not understand why this guy isn't being talked about as much there were some contra controversies because it sounded like he was saying racist stuff when in reality people just don't have good ears. But Waving Wally is an amazing animatronic. I love vintage like clowns. They're really cool. And he genuinely feels creepy. Like if a clown is trying to be like all innocent then it just automatically makes it scary. It's, I don't know, dude, but I loved seeing him in person. I would do anything to get him, almost anything, actually. But Waving Wally, amazing animatronic. He needs to return someday. And if he does, I am literally getting him on the spot. I don't care what other animatronics release that year, I'm getting Waving Wally. These next four questions are from the same person, and I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. Cohen Ruffle? Cohen Ruffle? Yeah, Cohen Ruffel? I don't know. I'll just say the levels. So, he asked, or they asked, four questions. Do you like jump scare or non jump scare props more? And honestly, definitely jump scare props more. Like, when doing a Halloween display, you mainly want to scare people, at least for me. And the jump scare animatronics just work better. 
Not only that, but there are more jump scare animatronics, I feel, than just regular animatronics that I like. So jump scare animatronics for sure. Now, his sec their second question, who makes the best animatronics? If you mean by stores, well, actually, let me think about that. Because technically, these stores don't make their own animatronics. They get them from other companies. I feel like Crazy Create is my favorite company. They make awesome animatronics. However, their quality is so insanely cheap. I really hate how, you know, they have all these screws, zip ties, and stuff. This year, they went a lot better. They're using a lot more metal parts than plastic. And I feel like if they end up getting more money to do these insanely cool animatronics, that they can improve the quality on them by a lot. So I really hope that they have a bigger budget in the next few years, because if their quality increases, as well as the originality of their ideas, they could be even better than they already are. What are my favorite underrated props? Well, I just talked about Waving Wally, so add him onto the list. Probably my favorite prop I'd consider underrated. But some other ones, just some examples, are the Flying Vulture from 2018. I do have him. He is broken, his speaker blew. I probably could fix him if I solder his wires back up, but his speaker will never work again, probably. Another one that I feel is underrated is Baphomet. Like, I know he's kind of controversial because he's like a demon. The demon props are a little controversial to some people. But honestly, this guy is so cool. Another prop I feel is really underrated, probably one of my favorite props ever, Henry Hustle. He sold really horribly. Like, a lot of people thought he was cool, but he sold horribly. No one really bought him. And when he sold out, he was just done. I was really sad because he was like my favorite prop of that year. I feel like he's really underrated. And the last prop, or... <laughs> I can't, bro. The last question, what props do you want to return? Now, I have three that if they return, I would get them in a heartbeat. Number one, well, let's just, hmm. Okay, number three, Ripping Reaper of Souls from 2009. This animatronic is quite possibly one of, if not the best Reaper prop ever, like ever. I love the Ripping Reaper of Souls to death, pun not intended. And I would kill to have this guy. Number two, Hugs the Clown. Yeah, I'm sure some of you guys can already tell I have a bias for clown animatronics. I'm not the psychotic circus of Savannah, trust me. But I love clown animatronics. And Hugs the Clown, one of my favorite clowns ever. <laughs> okay, like... Again, I'm not sure if I said this already, but I sound like such a squeaker, adding so many modern props onto my list of favorites, like top favorites, but you know what, it's my opinion, I'm just gonna embrace that. But Hugs the Clown is amazing, I would get him in a heartbeat, just like Ripping Reaper of Souls, both are amazing. Number one, Waving Wally, I just talked about him, nothing much else I can say about him, but those are like my top three sort of there are a lot more animatronics i can go by or go over but those are like the main three i would like to come back especially for like next year because if they come back next year i'm getting all three the next question we're answering and if you can hear any noise in the background i can't i'm walking around my room right now unlike the other clips where I'm sitting down. But the next question is from Knox Haunts. And this one reads, after owning her for a while now, what are your thoughts on Darling Dolly? And honestly, the more I use her, the more I see her, 
I love her even more. Like, her quality is just amazing. There's nothing wrong with her at all. She still works completely fine. She jumps very quickly. Like, pretty quick. I've seen some that jump a lot, or drop, I should say. They drop a lot quicker than mine, but mine drops, like, at the perfect time. Some of them drop, like way before it's supposed to and it kind of sucks because like it kind of ruins the effect but mine works great and i'm starting to love her a lot more all right it's the day before the video comes out i'm just redoing these portions of it because you know it didn't really turn out as much or as good as i wanted it to so these are the last batch of questions i did delete the post for this but i did take a screenshot of all the questions here so Question number one, or we have two questions from the same person, Bobby K. Why are you so sussy, part two, and are you servo? Number one, like I said, something crazy is going to happen at the end of the video. And number two, I wish I was servo. I'm really disappointed to say I'm not. Um... But I can act like a servo animatronic. Maybe I can even do better. These next two are from CB Halloween again. And they read, are you awesome? And are you from Spirit Halloween? Unfortunately, I'm not from Spirit Halloween. I'm, I don't know where I'm from. And I don't know. That depends. Do you guys think I'm awesome? Let me know in the comments. These two are from Dragon Lord Hollows. And first one reads, What got you into haunting? And honestly, the only good answer I can give for this is Spirit Halloween. I wasn't really inspired by anything in particular other than Spirit Halloween. And... The next thing was, or the next question is, when slash how did you start gaining subscribers at a decent rate? And that was like when I reached 200 subscribers, I'd say, because 10 days later, if you guys were around at that time, I reached like, 10 days later, I reached 300, went from 200 to 300 in just 10 days, which was crazy. The next question, I'm not sure what your name is, I'm sorry, but this one reads, What was your first prop and what year? And my first prop, I'm sure this was everyone's first prop, not, is the jumping spider, black jumping spider, can't go wrong with it, and I got it back in 2018. The next question is from Conjure Maven, great YouTuber, love their videos and whatnot i'm just gonna give a random shout out to you and their question is what are your unpopular opinions about spirit halloween animatronics and i gotta say this is going to cause a lot of stir in the premiere chat the comment section or whatever but i think that all the props people hype up are overrated let's just say for example pumpkin nester barnyard butcher harvester of souls creepy rising doll emmeline even though i do love her she's a bit overrated things like that i feel are so overrated and i feel like i really like a bunch of props that people hate so Angeline, I love Angeline. I don't understand why people hate her. Flying Vulture from 2018, I actually have him, even though he's been broken for the past three years, which sucks. Graveyard Ghoul, people hate Graveyard Ghoul, but I love it. And I can't really think of anyone else for some reason. But yeah, I think people overhype stuff a little too much. And this last question, Finally, wrapping things up is from Cohen Ruffle. I think that's how you say your name. I hope so. And they're at, they ask, what store is the best for Halloween? And 
There are a few answers I can give to this. If you are looking for a budget place to spend your stuff on Halloween, like if you have a particular price range, if that's what you meant by this, go to the Home Depot. They literally have the best prices out of any store. The best, okay? I'm not kidding. Spirit Halloween, even though they are my personal favorite, they've been kind of biased for me. <laughs> but Spirit Halloween has better things than Home Depot, I'd say. But if you want things at a good price, go to Home Depot. But Spirit is a little expensive, so if you're like starting off or you're i'm not sure what your situation is right now but yeah if you just want things at a good budget price go to the home depot however spirit halloween is good too so i would say spirit halloween overall and the home depot in pricing all right now for all of you guys who asked why am i so sussy I have a special announcement for you, my friends. I've announced this date. I've said this date many times before in comment sections. Do not forget about June 21st, 2025. I'll be waiting for you and you and you. I think it was like four people who said, why am I so sussy? Do not forget about June 21st, 2025. I promise it's going to be something worth waiting for. And I think you guys will hate it because <laughs> I do stupid stuff, okay? Well, that was it for the Q&A video. For the anniversary Q&A video. I've always wanted to do a Q&A video, like... It's just something I haven't been able to do, but now that I have a large enough community, I'm able to do things like this, and I'm super glad I was able to do this. Let me know if you liked this Q&A video. I may do another one really soon. It just depends. But, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope this got you to know a little more about me, I guess. I don't know. It was definitely a fun video to do, and I gotta, like, do more interactive things with the fans anyway. So, you know, thanks for watching, everyone. I answered literally every single question I got. And yeah, thanks for watching, as usual, and this is The Realist signing off.